Okay, and welcome back to the Cave of Wisdom in Shining in the Darkness. Uh, we've just picked up uh, Dai, who is a... He's a... Uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure what he is. I know he's a skinny guy with a knife, and his family had given him up for dead. But uh, luckily we've found him here, wandering around alone in the cave, so we're going to bring him with us. Although he doesn't seem nearly as capable as the alligator dude did. Which is a shame. Uh, I'm going to quickly just heal the main character up a bit. And let us continue. Okay. Right, that's no good. So, wraiths, no, uh, blaze two. And the smokes, no ice to crap. Okay, fine. Try and kill him quickly. Great. Fantastic. Luckily the fire, ma fire magic doesn't do that much damage to us. Easily 10 points. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Okay. Night rates are down. Onto the smokes. Okay, here it comes. Jesus. Kill him. Oh my god. Yeah, that... Those guys are serious. Another round of healing, please. Oh great. Two smokes and two tarantulas by the looks of it. Okay, hmm, I'm thinking of killing these guys first, because these guys know ice. It's the effort that counts, die. We can try and kill this smoke before he uses his ice magic, make things easier for us. another one-way door. Okay, the next iteration of the Clodhoppers, Maze Runners. Ouch. Holy shit, 51 points. again. Uh, another round of healing. Oh my god. Oh, and a puddle. This place wasn't scary enough. There's nothing here. Nothing there either. Two tarantulas. Nothing too challenging. Boom. 144 points of damage. That sword we bought was a wise investment after all, it seems. Oh, shit. Okay. Pyra. I don't even know if this is going to work. Blaze him.
Great job, Die. Great job. Okay. None of them cast ice. It's a miracle. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. Had all of them decided to, to cast ice on us, we'd have been in fucking trouble. Yikes. What the hell is that? Uh, don't know what you are. Bolt. 15 points of damage, that's not too bad, I guess. Jesus Christ! 74 points of damage that thing does. Okay, heal. You. Pyra, hit him with another bolt. Wow. Okay. Maybe we can get another treasure chest before we leave, shall we? Oh crap. Okay, another one. Another one. Hit him. Hit him. You bolt now. Oh my god. Running low on MP for healing. Now a gate. Okay, next iteration of the Dark Wizard, the Sorcerer. I'm not sure what these guys can do, so I'm just going to go in all guns blazing. Okay. Taking moderate damage from the... Uh... Okay. okay, these guys know Bolt. That's their trick. Don't know if they also know Scream. to see. Oh god, what are these guys? Yikes. Oh my god. Okay. That's enough, please. Probably not gonna make it to the next uh, treasure chest. Just a guess.
Oh, crap. Come on, guys. Okay, final round of healing, because I won't have any more MP left. Sorcerers. Okay, not a big problem. Not a big problem. Uh, we can't do a blaze, but we might be able to do a freeze. Uh, freeze does bugger all. Not nearly as effective as blaze. Dies ineffective as ever. Great job, Milo. Useless bastard. Ooh. They do give you a lot of good XP, though. I will say that. Oh crap, okay, okay. Not a big problem, just focus on them. Oh dear. Holy shit, come on guys. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to punch out. As soon as I end this fight, I'm going to have to get the hell out of there. Yeah, not going to survive. Thanks, die. Missed out on 600 HP there. Uh, 600 experience, rather. Oh well, let's get the hell out of here. Remember to bring an angel feather this time. Yeah, why not? We've got some shit to sell. Sell one of these battle axes. Hmm. Oh, we, hmm. 
I'm just, you know, we don't, we technically don't need the map. I mean, we found it. I showed it to you. There is a map. So I may as well just sell it because I need the inventory space. Whoa, cutscene. found that we we um oh did he give us a map he may have given us another map tell you what before we go let us Bell. Yes, please. Did he give us a map? Mm, no, he didn't. He told us of the location of another map. Oh well. Back to the Cave of Wisdom we go. Okay, and we're back in the Cave of Wisdom, roughly around the same spot where we punched out previously. And we're going to continue on. I think we're just past the halfway point of this cave. There's not an awful le lot left to it, so... Making our way. Oh, more of this magic sucking shit. Gross. And what do we have? Oh, flail. Ooh, actually. That might be useful. Who currently has that? Oh, Milo has it. Good. Ah. Flail is not as good as the battle axe. Oh well. Actually, I think... Doesn't the flail have some kind of special secondary attack to it? Like, the, the basic weapon damage is lower, but it... I, th I think it's got something else going on. Let's equip it, just to see. If it doesn't appear to have anything special, we'll put the uh, the battle axe back in. I want to say there's some kind of, like... extra... thing about it that makes it... special. Oh! We have a Cockatorus. Now's the time to test it. Oh yeah, um... All the characters have gained one level since the last time we were in here. Uh, Milo has learnt Heal 3, and Pyra has learnt Boost, which is basically an attack up, and uh, Heal 2, so now Pyra is a half-decent healer, finally. Let's try a muddle, why not? Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything special down there. Nope, dead end. Great. Oh, two cockatoruses.
Ah, okay, so yeah, it's true. Milo attacks everyone. The flail, even though it does less damage, it attacks every single enemy in the group. I believe that's what's happening there. Uh, let's go up here, maybe, first. Oh no, ghosts! Look at that. Boom. Or rather, I don't think the flail attacks every enemy in the group. I think it just attacks twice. Um. Right, so we want to go forward here. Now, there is a hidden pit in front of us, but I think we actually want to go down this pit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we want to go down here. So we quickly check something. Okay, so that's interesting. How does one get through here then? I don't know. Is it this one? I think there's a hidden wall somewhere. So we can't get through that one way door. But, I could be completely wrong. Nope, nothing happened. I was completely wrong. Okay. Oh shit, this thing again. It's a crusher. Um. These things are susceptible to sleep. Please go to sleep. Yes! Boom. What have we got up here? Ooh, chest. This is the chest we saw earlier behind the the, uh, the gate. This is how we get to it. Oh, map two. What does map two say? Hmm. Hmm. I see. No doubt mapping out the uh, the pitfalls in a later part of the level for us. Oh, oh no, you just walk through it. It's one of those one-way doors. Well, one way until you open it, I guess. What? We'll take this Night Wraith out first, because this thing is a bugger. And 
Cockatoruses can paralyze you. Fantastic. Yes, okay. Maze runners and smoke. Okay. Mm, well. Get rid of these damn maze runners. Well, great. Jesus. Okay, fine. Blaze all the other motherfuckers. Get at least a few of them. Or all of them, maybe. Yep, got all of them. Look at that. Round of healing from Milo would be nice. Kinda low on uh, MP again. Luckily, no paralysis that time. Oh, great. Please, no paralysis. Good. Crap. Nice. Two night raids. I'm taking these things down really quickly, it's just I'm taking like a lot of damage as well. I wish I had some better defensive options. Poor Milo's running low on MP again. again. Uh, try the trick of putting you to sleep again. Yes. That appears to be the trick to taking this thing down without issue. Appears to be particularly susceptible to sleep magic. Crap. No, wrong one. That one. Nice. 
Okay, and we are back where we were before we fell down the pit. Maybe we can get to one more treasure chest before we uh, before we uh, bounce. Maybe we'll get a level up. Oh shit! Okay. Maybe we can kill this night wraith before it sets us on fire. Milo, please. Crap. Oh no, he didn't use its uh, magic for some reason. Appears to be some randomness in the AI for a change. <sighs> smoke. Don't want to have to deal with you, Smoke. go around the pit this time. What's up here? Oh, maze runners, that's what's up here. Farah, do the honours. Alright, we're getting real low on magic now. Ooh, we found some stairs. Okay. I know what's down here. Oh, sorcerers. Great. Right. Murder these birds. Crap. No. <sighs> Ever since I got taken out uh, by paralysis that one time, I'm now terrified of any enemy that can induce paralysis. Nice. Uh, big empty room. Oh god, Milo. Uh, draw. Try a last spell. These things are apparently effective against birds. Not effective enough. Crap. Please don't par paralyze. Crap. Crap. No. Okay, one of them ran away. Okay, we might still have a chance. Kill it. Yikes. Okay, fine. Um Right. Smelling salts. I just happen to have two over here. Hooray. And Milo. Careful with this stuff. One more heal. Okay. That's the last of my MP. I'm going to try and make a break for this treasure chest and then get the hell out of here. Okay, go. Shit, this thing. Can I kill it? Shit! Holy fuck! 
Oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna die. Ha! That's insane. <laughs> well, great. That motherfucker got three critical hits in a row. What? I guess some, sometimes that's just the way the random number generator goes, I guess. Sometimes the game just says, fuck you. Oh, shite. Oh well. Let's sell some shit and call it a day. Get rid of this woven hood I found. Uh, this flail's pretty awesome. Um, even though the battle axe does more base damage. Um, let's sell the battle axe. We can always get it back later if we want it. He got for us a thorn whip. Mm. We do have ten thousand. Um, I think I think Pyra can equip the whips. I think this might be an upgrade for Pyra. We didn't even expect to get that. Look at that. 74. It's a boost of 5 points. Not huge, but... Every little helps. smelling salts. Never have enough smelling salts. Right. That's enough for today. Let's save and get the hell out of here. Oh, Pyra's really close to leveling up. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll complete the Cave of Wisdom next time. If the, uh, the random number generator lets us, I guess. <laughs>